Gentlemen, welcome back to another episode here at the Main Corps. Today's video is going to be taking action and how to take action to achieve your goals, accomplish your mission, and to move forward in life. So if you are new here, the Main Corps is a community that is built specifically for men that are digging to their core to find out who it is that they really are, what it is that they really want, and who it is that they want to become. We cover three topics, that is masculinity, health, and relationships. Subscribe to the channel and help us build better men for the future. So again, as I mentioned, today's video is going to be around taking action and how to take action and, and uh, achieve your goals, accomplish your mission, accomplish tasks, uh, to keep things moving, to continue to progress and grow uh, and thrive and stretch as we uh, have covered before it is so essential for us as men to do. So um, what inspired me to do this video is uh, is really my own personal uh, habits or uh, troubles with procrastination and putting things off and um, at times giving half-ass efforts when I know that I should have been um, you know really stepping up my game or uh, you know when I should have been taking action towards you know, accomplishing a task, a mission, an assignment, um, something at work, something um, with my health, something uh, with my finances, whatever the case may be. Uh, so I'm approaching this from a position of having dealt with a lot of, uh, you know, of those same issues. And really the only way that, that I found and the only way that we should really understand our, around them is is really not around them and that's really through them. So, um you know the the whole the whole concept of this video will be around avoiding the minutia of the talk and um, the delineation or the avoidance the distraction and really facing things head on uh, whether that be something that we're scared of something that we know we need to do uh, something that we know must be done um, when your shoulds become musts, uh, and it's really about taking action to to get through those. So uh, the whole, you know, the whole th concept uh, for the whole like thing that we as men share is is that um, you know at our essence we are about accomplishing, um, moving forward, breaking through barriers, piercing through, uh, progressing, stretching, and. Uh, in the past, you know, where I've gotten into a lot of trouble and where I've ran into a lot of stagnation or where I've felt like I was not growing or making progress or stretching is when I can now reflect and, and, and know that it was because I wasn't taking any action. It was more about just uh, talking about it or, you know, sort of dancing around about it and not really getting to the point, not really dealing with it directly. And it was really, you know, for nothing other than just a lack of fear. Um, so it comes from a very honest place. So, you know, as men, you know, to get to, to get anywhere in life, in our business, in our personal lives, in our relationships, in our finances, um, in the gym, with our health, physical or emotional, um, to get anywhere, to get anywhere in life, wherever we're trying to go, it's all about taking action and methodical, strategic action along the way. And knowing that that is a process that doesn't ever stop. Um, I've covered in past videos about, you know, setting a goal and then finding out that once you've achieved the, the said goal that you're not as fulfilled or don't have the same feeling as you thought you did in your mind when you got there. And a lot of that has to do with the fact that we took action to get there and then, and then that action stops and we get stagnant. We don't have anything that we're excited about, inspired by, motivated by. And so, you know, we're kind of drifting. And as men, that's where I think a lot of us, we tend to get a little cerebral, we get in our heads and, and we start to kind of feel like we're, we're losing, our, on, losing our grips on, on what's going on and um, how, how we can move forward. We get caught up on our own bullshit. It happens to me. Um, you know, I'm kind of right in a period right now where I've been doing the channel for probably about six months. Um, things have, you know, seen some pretty consistent growth and, you know, I'm kind of in a creative spot where I'm like, okay, which direction should I go? 
um, you know, how, what kind of topics and what kind of videos, what kinds of uh, areas am I most interested in, most passionate about, who I want to cover videos on. And, you know, you've probably been noticing that there hasn't been as many videos on it. So what have I been doing other than just not taking action? And it's, um, that's not really what, what is, that's not serving me and that's not serving the community here. So, um, you know, rather than to talk about it or to, you know, not deal with it, um, it's to contend with it and to take action towards it. Uh, you know, I'd like to be able to, you know, say that this is a, you know, this is a video that was, is easy for me to do and, and that these videos on a regular basis are easy for me to do. They're not. It takes a lot of, um, you know, it, it takes a lot of internal work. It takes a lot of uh, external work apart from my full-time job and, and I want to do it. Um, but it's not going to get done if I just continue to bullshit myself and blow a bunch of hot air about, oh, it should be this, it should be that and ultimately not taking any action. You know, if you look at some of my earlier videos, uh, a lot of the issues that I faced prior to creating the channel was I spent about five years doing that. And so it's a habit that I've, you know, personally fallen into traps with and have gotten into some struggles with. And again, it had nothing to do with just real, other than just that I was, you know, fearful or I kept telling myself a story or I was all, you know, again, all wrapped up in my head and all cerebral. You know, it, it's, I think it's also easy for men to kind of look at the successes and the things and the, the experiences or circumstances of the things around them externally and want to stack themselves up or measure themselves against what they see around them. And, you know, nothing is as it seems. So what you see on the surface is not always what's going on underneath. And, you know, our most important work is the internal work that we're doing on ourselves. So... Um, I'm personally going to be, you know, meeting with a, a mentor, uh, t starting tomorrow actually about just kind of helping me get out of my own way. And, um, you know, sometime, and it's going to be a man. So, you know, that's uh, typically before it's, it's been just, I didn't really prioritize it being a man, but now it's, it's going to be because I know that it's something that he can relate to and can help me kind of move past and, and move through and, um, not allow me to, to play small. So, um, but you know, taking action is, is so essential to, to not only our essence, but about where we want to go. If we're trying to create some kind of mission or legacy, if we're following some kind of mission, there has to be some kind of aim and there has to be progress. Um, I think that no matter which area of your life you're trying to enrich, again, if it's your health, your finances, your business, whatever the case, your relationships, Whatever the case may be, it's it's taking it's taking consistent action towards um, not a final goal, but an ongoing goal that um, that is motivating, inspiring, and um, that you feel will enrich your life in in any capacity. It could be any avenue that is most important to you, but um, you know to spend the time and really waste the time that uh, you could be taking some kind of action. Um, some of the biggest areas of my life that uh, I've had breakthroughs in were really on the heels of having just like contended or f came face to face with a fear of mine that I held for a really long time. And I think it was just maybe a, uh, I'm gonna get a little woo woo here, but maybe a, a spiritual like, uh, roadblock that I needed to kind of break through uh, internally before uh, that endeavor or that success or um, the new job or the new raise or what, whatever the whatever it was it wasn't going to come in, until I actually contended and broke through that and I actually took the action to do it now certainly you know uh, taking the action is uncomfortable you risk rejection you risk failure, you risk a lot of other things, but it's, it's, it's accepting that that's kind of just part of life. I mean, you're not the only one that's dealing with it. We are not the only one that's dealing with, uh, um, you know, failure and rejection. It happens to all of us. Um, you know, nobody has a perfect track record. Nobody's got a laundry list of just, you know, excellence all along the way. Most of the most successful people that we hear in Ted talks and 
podcasts and all the you know inspirational, motivational shit that we listen to at the gym or on our way to work, all those people, if you listen to them in detail, they talk about how much they've actually failed and the importance of that failure um, and the importance of taking risks, taking action, um, creating momate, momentum, creating an inertia towards um, you know a long-term goal, uh, you know a a desired outcome. They were focused on their outcome and, and, and whatever was kind of going along the way was really a part of or in service of that larger picture. And, you know, I think it's, it's really easy for, uh, at least it was for me, it was really easy for me to just kind of uh, blow smoke and, and to kind of bullshit not only those around me, but, but myself about uh, the, the action that ultimately I really wasn't taking. So, um, you know, what... I've committed to and and you know what I what I challenge everybody in the channel to do is to you know commit to taking action and to also bring somebody that um, can help you and 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 keep you accountable some people need trainers they need you know spiritual or financial advisors they need teachers they need mentors whatever the case may be um, but those people are there to help guide uh, not in the direction that 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 they want you to go, but they're just, they're there to, you know, just like a coach is and they're, and they're there to, you know, help you get what it is that, that is important or, or where you want to go. So they don't, they don't create the goal. They don't, um, bring you to their goal. They, they help bring you to your goal. So help somebody that will, uh, or get somebody that will hold you accountable and, you know, help get you out of your own specific or, or particular way with things. I know it can be tough. It's, it's scary and um, you're facing a lot of fears, a lot of insecurities, doubts, unworthiness, whatever the case may be. We all deal with it. Um, but it, it, it will always be there until we actually contend with it. You know, we don't, we don't get over them. We don't get around them. We actually get through them. You got to feel it to heal it. And, you know, that's, that's the only way that I've found and, and the only way that, you know, I consistently hear is, is the way to, to really move forward. And I think as, as, as men, uh, men of action and, and men of uh, legacy, men of, um, you know, men who, who create uh, a substantial and a, a fulfilling life for themselves, they're all men who know not only how, but why it is important to consistently take action um, even at times when it doesn't feel like there's any progress or when they're not seeing immediate progress, um, you know, it's, it all boils down to that. It's actually taking the action because somewhere down the road, the dots will connect. And although it's hard to see, it's important that we just consistently, consistently move forward, whether that, you know, there's a reason why they say fail forward. We don't, we don't fail backwards. We fail forward. Um, and I think that's because, you know, much like in the way that I've uh, found that even if it was a failure or, or was a rejection, just on the other side of that was a breakthrough or a success or a win that would have otherwise likely not happened uh, had I not, um, you know, taken action to have the failure. Uh, it would have not, you know, presented itself to me or, or in my life. So, you know, there's there's a lot of exciting things and there's a lot of really good things that can happen on the other side of fear and we don't get there without taking consistent action. So, um, I'm committed to it. And again, I'm meeting with a mentor starting tomorrow and, um, you know, it's something that I, I want to ask for you to join uh, me in doing, uh, please share your comments and let me know what you guys think and, uh, how you're not only keeping yourself accountable, but the, the kinds of things that you take action towards and, um, the kinds of goals that, that you're going to go for. Um, and why this is important to you. I do encourage all your feedback and I do appreciate hearing from each and every one of you. So thank you for your ongoing support and your uh, feedback here at the channel. Please do like the video, share the video and the channel with anybody that you think would value greatly from our content. We do want to build community here. So I would appreciate your help in building the community here for men in the future. All right, fellas. Thank you so much. I appreciate your time today. I will see you on the next video here at the Man Corps. Cheers.